And uh, as I get the other two mics set up, we're going to bring up the WCCO Radio All-Stars, led by Charlie Boone and Roger Erickson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Tim, you're incredible. That Jalen Steele and Billy, aren't they marvelous? Aren't they all? Yeah. Just love to hear her sing. <laughs> And now, <laughs> Minnesota Hospital, the continuing saga of our dedicated medical men and women who help make Minnesota one of the best states to get sick in. <laughs> Today, we will find Dr. Gil Whitney in a very close consultation with nurse Helen Trent. <sighs> Helen. Oh, Helen. Gil. Gil. Helen. Oh, Gil. Mm. Helen, have I ever told you you look and sound like that news reporter on WCCO Tele Mamaya? Oh, you flatter me, Gil. Mm. Such a flirt. Helen. Helen, mm. come with me to... To Brainerd? No, to the Republican convention. What? Yeah. <laughs> Helen, Helen, we think we can make Minnesota Hospital the official hospital of the Republican National Convention. Just think, a big billboard in front of the hospital that says G-O-P, which could mean grand old party or great operations procedures. <laughs> Follow your script, Raj. <laughs> Gil? What? What will my fellow DFLers in the nurses' union think? Oh, Helen, how can you be so lovely and so liberal? <laughs> anyway, Helen, I, I have to leave you now for a bit. I'm going to call Senator Coleman to see if we can make this happen. Yeah, okay. carry on. Goodbye. Helen? <gasps> Dr. Susie Jones. Helen? You need to be careful about guys like Gil. Well, he is not like that. He's not one of those. He's a very straight-laced conservative, you know. Hmm. You know, he's asked me to go to Brainerd a number of times, but I've always turned him down. But still, he likes me. Last weekend, I went way up north with a doctor for the fishing opener. Oh. Oh, that must have been exciting. Not really. He made me pay for the gas. <laughs> Three seventy-two a gallon for crying out loud. Oh, Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones! Oh, there's Mike Lynch, the crazy intern. Dr. Jones! That patient you just saw a bit ago? Yeah. I, I told him his appendix would have to come out. Uh, now he demands a, a second opinion. That was my second opinion. At first I thought it was his kidney. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. Why, it's Nurse Denny Long. Doctor, we nurses think it's wonderful we'll get all this publicity during the Republican convention, but we're also worried that Democrat patients will feel kind of left out. Well, that does make sense. Well, I know some people at WCCO you Radio. You do? Yes, I do. Oh, my goodness, that is great. And they have come up with a couple of songs about the remaining Democratic presidential candidates, and I will have them sing up and down the halls all the time. In fact, I brought the WCCO musicians with me. Would you like to hear them? I would love to hear them. All right, well, first, candidate number one, hit it, people. They said she wouldn't last so long But oh how they were wrong So let's all sing and make it swing As we sing along Hillary 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 I'm still here One, two, three, four, who's the one we're voting for? Five, Five six, six, seven, eight, who, who do we nominate? Nine and ten, let's sing it again and again. 
Barack, Barack, Barack around the clock tonight. Barack, Barack, he will really fight. Barack, Barack, around the clock tonight. Attention, everybody! Attention! Attention! My, uh, I was getting there. My goodness! It's Dr. Steve Murphy, the hospital administrator. Fellow employees of Minnesota Hospital, we have a special guest here today. Who is it? Senator John McCain. Senator McCain, Thank are you, you here much, to select friends. our governor as your running mate? Yes, my friend, I am indeed. Uh, this is the state of Minnesota. It's a, a great state. It's full of Minnesota nice people. And your governor might be a good candidate. But, uh, and, I, you know, he is a member of the Pepsi generation. And I'm a member of the Maylox mob. But, <laughs> thank you. Uh, but, my friends, uh, it's very important that I make uh, uh, the wise choice here. I, I do like to keep up with the youngsters, uh, especially in the world of popular music, youngsters like uh, Mick Jagger. <laughs> well, he is to me. Uh, I like his songs like, Hey, You Get Off My Lawn, and uh, <laughs> I Can't Get No Metamucil. And, but no, I think that, uh, my friend, I think that I, I need someone perhaps... Uh, not so young. Don't you want someone young to balance the ticket? No, my friend. I think I want someone older than me. Uh, as I am a soft-spoken guy, uh, I want someone louder than me. I want someone older and louder than me. I'm <laughs> um, Sid Hartman, Mr. Jerk. Here he is, my VP. Sid Hartman. McCain Hartman has kind of a ring to it, my friend, don't you think? No problem. I'll get on my cell phone right now. Yeah, but can you raise money for my campaign? Work on that, okay? Isn't that wonderful? We'll be sure to be the official hospital of the Republicans now. I guess that's my line, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I screwed up the page here. Don't worry about that. We, uh, we have somebody else standing by. Is there a We're doctor in the house? How come it took you so long? Don't worry, Sid. I'm still your close, best close friend. But, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Dr. John Nigerian, world greatest transplant surgeon, kidneys and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Sid, but the reason I'm here is about the official hospital for the convention. Did we get it? Did they select us? I'm here to tell you that today they have selected the University of Minnesota Hospital. Oh, oh, oh no. Yes. All right. The band's supposed to play. Here's one of the greatest guys in the world right here. <laughs> Roger Erickson, Charlie Boone, Minnesota Hospital. Dr. John Nigerian, thank you so much, sir. One last comment I'd like to make. We've got all this music and wonderful music and all this comedy and everything, and all of this is just for one person. This is for Emma, and it's your night, Emma. There you are. It's your night tonight. So wonderful in Minnesota. Minnesota Nice is here tonight, and it's all for you. And thank you for all coming. We're going to take a break now, and then we'll be back for the second act. Emma. Okay.